Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Carmine from New York here, talking photography. I am so happy that we made it over 180 classes of photography, giving you guys for free, with my pleasure, of my 50 years of experience as a photographer and photojournalist. All right, let's hit the subscribe button button right away. It's the little red square at the bottom of your screen. All right. Um, also, email me at blackandwhitephoto at aol.com. Any questions you have about photography, I will answer you within a day or just comment below. It's probably a lot easier. I answer all the comments pretty much instantly. Okay. Today's class. It's a subject that I have gotten the most emails about. What should be my first 35 millimeter film camera? All right. Now I'm holding up a professional film camera. This is the Nikon F5. Now I am going to recommend this professional 35 millimeter film camera to you guys that takes regular AA or AA alkaline batteries, eight of them. I'm going to recommend this camera as your first film camera. Now, I can already hear my colleagues around the world saying, What is he crazy telling new? photographers that want to shoot 35 millimeter film for the first time to go buy an f5 a pro film camera is that what i'm saying yes and here's why my 50 years of experience comes with not only 50 years as a photographer but 50 years as a consumer of photography equipment now I'm here to do one thing today. I'm here to actually save you money. This is what I'm talking about. Let's get the numbers because that's what photography is a big part of. The big part of photography is the numbers. How much, how much is this going to cost me? All right, let's get the numbers out of the way. This camera that I'm holding, Nikon F5, 35 millimeter film camera will cost you from Japan, mint condition, 200 and 50 bucks. Now, yes, you're buying them used, but $250. Keep the numbers in your head, the, the numbers that I'm saying. And at the end, this will all make sense of why this should be your first 35 millimeter film camera. This F5 that runs on regular AA batteries gives you autofocus. Keep that in mind. It gives you full Program, shutter priority, aperture priority, and drum roll, pr please, full manual. Not only manual focus by a switch here, but full manual controls of the shutter and aperture. It has a built-in light meter. Its body is constructed of pure metal. Okay. Let me continue, and in a few seconds, this is all going to make sense. My colleagues will say, calm, let them start off with a basic Asahi Pentex Spotmatic. Okay, that's what I did. That's what Carmine from New York did 50 years ago. I started off with a Pentex Spotmatic. Now, today in reality, just check, today is November the 5th, 2022. On eBay, mint condition Pentex Spotmatic, just the body, is 100 bucks. Okay, so I can hear already you guys saying, well, $100 is less than 250 Okay, it's just one problem. Problem is that the Pentex Spotmatic, while 
it has a built-in light meter, it's faulty by now because oxidation and the degre de degradation of the solder joints inside all cameras that are 30, 40, 50 years old, solder degradation sometimes destroys the electronics in the Honeywell or Asahi Pentex Spotmatic. By the way, Honeywell and Asahi, same thing. They only had a brand, the Spot, uh, Pentex Spotmatics that were coming to the United States back in the day with an American importer and their name had to be on it. So Honeywell, while Honeywell had nothing to do with production, the engineering, the design, and the manufacturing of the Pentex Spotmatic, their name had to be on it so it could be imported to the United States. But I want you guys to understand that the Asahi Pentex Spotmatic is the one that was not only, they were all made in Japan, but not only made in Japan, but sold in Japan. Okay, so now we have $250 Nikon, <clears throat> excuse me, F5. $100, <clears throat> excuse me, for the Pentex Spotmatic. Okay, the Pentex Spotmatic is going to need a $100 handheld Sekonic light meter. So now, the Pentex Spotmatic body that you paid $100 for will need a light meter because the one inside, while it may appear to work, it will not be accurate. So now you have the body for 100 and the light meter for 100. Now you're $200. This is 250. Now the difference in the two cameras is only $50 apart. Okay. Autofocus. F5. Auto focus. Pentex Spackmatic. Only manual focus. Nikon F5. Program mode. You just set your ASA, sorry, you just set the uh, ISO, <laughs> ASA, that shows you how old I am. ASA was, is what I, ISO was back in the day. But people got upset because ASA stood for American Standards, all right? And ISO stands for International Standards, okay? So people got upset. Anyway, I continue. For $50 more, right now you have the Pentax Spotmatic. Let's keep let's keep up to date. The Honeywell Spot Spotmatic over here, right? 100 for the body, 100 for a light meter. Okay, now you're 200, $50 difference. This gives you autofocus. Pentax Spotmatic, Spotmatic does not. This gives you full built-in light meter. Oh, including spot metering, right? Right over here, right? Right, right over here. Built-in spot metering, if you want it, okay? Aperture priority. Pentex Spotmatic? No. Shutter priority. In here. Pentex Spotmatic? No. Okay. So now you see where we are. $200 for the Spotmatic. I'm just using the Spotmatic as an example. It could be any one of the uh, starter, the common starter 35 millimeter film cameras, right? So now 50 bucks. 50 bucks. Don't you think that 50 bucks, right? You spread, say you keep the camera for a year. $50 spread over 365 days. Okay. Less than a cup of coffee. All right. Now, lenses. If you buy the Nikon F5 that I recommend, it's going to need a lens. So I recommend this lens. This is the Nikkor 50 millimeter autofocus 1.4 lens. This is the Nifty 50 that was meant to be with this camera body, all right? You're gonna see photographs in a second taken with this camera, the Nikon F5, all right? Now, the Spotmatic is also gonna need a lens, okay? A lens for the Spotmatic, a 50 millimeter, may run you 50 bucks. Oh, now you're at $250. This $250 camera needs a lens. This lens is about $100. So it's now this is this package as you see right here is 350 bucks. But you're done. 
No light meter needed. It's built in. Autofocus lens, autofocus body. Professional body. All metal construction. Honeywell Pentex Batmatic or the Asahi Pentex Batmatic. No autofocus. Okay? So, what am I getting at? This is probably the most important point. If you buy a standard, generic, starter 35mm film camera like the Honeywell Spotmatic, okay? You, inside your head, will want to upgrade eventually to this camera, to the Nikon F5. So, don't do what I did is go through, purchase all the beginner cameras, right? 100 bucks, 100 bucks, 100 bucks, 100 bucks, 100 bucks. Now you've spent more on all of these beginner cameras. You spent more than you could have bought this $250 professional Nikon F5. Do not be intimidated by the size and just because it's professional. What it means by professional, it doesn't come with a professional photographer. What it means is that it's a professional body that it can withstand being used all day, every day, being held, being hung around the neck, being used to push people out of the way when you want to get a photograph of Kim Kardashian, okay? This is my 50 years of experience, not only as a photographer, but as a photography equipment consumer. I want to save you money. It may seem like, oh, 250 bucks for the body. No way. I could buy two Spotmatics. Yeah. And you'll need to buy a $100 light meter. Okay. And you won't have autofocus. You won't have a built-in spot meter. Stop. Just stop. This is built Take it. This is what you want. Don't spend the hundred on the Spotmatic and another hundred on a handheld light meter. You're 200, 250. Now, grab yourself some film. Okay. It's a great sound. Grab yourself some film. Grab yourself the Nikon F5 for 250 bucks. Buy it from Japan. Buy it from a seller that has a hundred percent positive feedback, or I call it credibility, no lower than an eBay seller with nothing lower than 99.2%, nothing lower. And make sure that he has hundreds of feedbacks, not two. And most importantly, that nobody else talks about when you're about to buy something on eBay, especially camera equipment, click on the button that says seller's other items. See what else he's selling. If he's selling other camera equipment, cameras and lenses, cameras and lenses, that's a camera dealer. He knows what he's talking about in the description that it says tested and working. It most certainly will be tested and working. But if you click on items for other items for sale by this seller and it's a tennis racket, plates, shoes and women's dresses stay away because that seller is just buying stuff at garage sales and flea markets and shoving it on ebay and he'll have the lowest or she will have the lowest price he'll he or she will say it's working they don't know if it's working good luck trying to get your money back words from an old wise man Spend your money first on this body, the Nikon F5. And then you build your lens collection. You buy Nikkor glass. You build it up. The next lens after this might be an 85 millimeter. The next lens after that might be a wide angle, like a nice 28. You want to build three lens as a basic set. A 28 millimeter for wide angle, nifty 50 for every day, and a nice telephoto. What's a nice telephoto? Prime, meaning not a zoom. 
like a nice 200 millimeter Nikkor lens. You will enjoy photography so much more when you take this out. Instead of a beginner 35 millimeter camera, I'm just using Spotmatic as an example, you'll feel so much better because guess what? You can get online the PDF manual for this if you think you need it and you could read it online and you can grow into all of the things that this offers. Do not be intimidated by a camera. Don't be intimidated by, oh my God, look at the size of this thing. Yeah, it's big. It's big for a reason. It's big because it's all metal construction for a professional that's going to use this in a crowded environment on the streets or on safari or at a drag race or anywhere else that you can imagine. I'm going to show you right now my Nikon F5 photographs. Guys, it's been a pleasure. I hope you learned something today from a photographer with 50 years as a photojournalist. All right. Subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Comment below and email me black and white photo at AOL.com. We'll talk about anything you want photography related. All right. Now let's get right into the photographs I took with the Nikon F5. Let's look at those photographs right now.